cave dweller, you know I love you. I love you mucho grande. But I got to tell you, if you're not making anything of yourself, don't wait for Jesus to make something of you for you, because he won't. He might just barely keep you alive. But that's about it. That's about all you can expect for your faith. In exchange for faith and a life, ascetic life, where you enjoy nothing because you're trying to be holy. All that will happen is you will just barely keep yourself alive. Have you ever seen a monk? They're just barely alive. They're certainly not happy about anything. They're not partying. Sometimes they write poetry, I suppose, or have ecstatic visions. I guess that's kind of cool, but don't you want to excel? I want to excel. And I decided I am the generator. Jesus isn't the generator. He's not going to generate Jack. And he's proven it many times over to me. Cave dweller, I'm alive. But that's about it. I've decided I'm going to excel. And in order to excel, I have to take steps to make things happen. And that includes applying for jobs that I don't want. You never know where these opportunities that you don't want might lead. They might lead to opportunities that you do want. That's my hope. That's my goal. A couple days from now, I'm going to go to a meet and greet. I'm not a very social guy, cave dweller. But I force myself. I force myself to be friendly because you never know who you're going to meet. So far, I haven't met many people. But one day, I reached out to a guy, and he reached back. And now we're connected, and that might go somewhere. It might not. But you never know. Everything you do could lead to something. So start doing it. And that's all I got. Thank you. Having said all that, Cave Dweller, having divulged that I am now post occult, I'm about to perform my last occult working. It's a variation on sigil magic. Sigil magic is one of the Because why go through all the trouble of making a silly drawing when you can just visualize it, create a vision board with cutouts from a magazine, or just create a mantra and do some positive thinking activity? Remember, the first rule of magic, get in the frame of mind. Hello, black magicians, I'm back found this at a place called Moe's, Asian import store. What is your dream? I'm going to write that right here. And then as, as I visualize that, I'm going to eat these chips. They're salt flavor. Brass. Magic brass bowl. Oh. artist selling many paintings exclamation point so this is closer to sigil magic than I thought cave dweller they're letter shapes Ata Malkuth e Pluribus Unum. And I'm out of here! Cave Dog, I started my exploration into magic with disbelief, and I'm ending with, with apathy. Just get off your ass and do something.
and make it happen and don't take no for an answer because no means yes. That's everything about America. Chuck E. Cheese at 8 a.m. DMV, Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, which happens to be my destination. This place is half European coastal villa, half shite. These are some tail lights. Notice the random tail lightness. There's no tail light alike. They're like fingerprints. Meanwhile, at the home base of the Milwaukee Outlaws, notice they love to shake up the place. Outhouse, trash cans, SS, gears and a skull. Nice design, beautiful old building, painted black. So this cop just put up that ladder right there. I, just, I wonder if he's going to arrest this light pole. And now he's fleeing the scene. That's right. Stay in the crosswalk, buddy. This is you, black magicians. Forty-seven candy bars Jelly 